Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Um, we're back with some special content. Uh, the ports have been backed up. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but mail has been a little bit slow. And uh, my partner and I um, at the Capologist, Mr. Tony Ross, we haven't received anything to ship. Um, I would say probably since November. It's not about right, Tony. November-ish. Yeah, so we got about 11 hats come in. Um, we wanted to give you guys an exclusive peek. Um, Pierre's got one on his head right now. He's been a loyal um, auto renewing customer of ours. So mm -hmm. um, I love this one for your support. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Well, the, 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 the mail might be slow, but your creative juices aren't. <laughs> no, we never that, man. We never no I'm excited. So I, I didn't get to see, you know, I've got a few here. I've got one in my head, but you know, I know I've got some more coming my way. I can't wait to see what they look like. I haven't seen them yet. Mm hmm. All right. So the first one was one of the first uh, collaborations we did with uh, our good friend, John from Ink Park. Um, he did a little logo flip for me. He's known for uh, the logo flips. Mm -hmm. So he uh, he took the Toronto Raptor shape and basically um, merged it with uh, what it would look like if it were, were to be a Husky. So if you don't know the Toronto Huskies, that's what the first basketball team was called. So we got the Toronto Man Dam. So. Wow. Uh, not to be confused with the Yukon Huskies. Um, we went for the Toronto Husky look. It's got silver um, on the outline, green under, because, you know, green unders work. And then a little white dot because Tony's a Dodger fan. So nice. That. And then we got a little combo. So we got John's uh, Joshua Tree uh, logo with our uh, dual beakers. That's well really cool. So um, we still have a couple couple sizes left on the website. Uh, second one um, has been a multiple time um, collaborated with us. Uh, Roland uh, from Way Too Many Toys um, lets us use his logo. Um, so we keep making hats with it. So um, I guess he was feeling um, a little uh, proud to be a Laker fan when, when we put the order in. He requested us to do the Lake Show colors. So we got, I believe it's, yeah. like, the, it's like the fourth or fifth version. I can't even keep track. Fourth, I love the fourth. The fourth. Yeah. So purple, gold under. We got the pin that comes with it for free. And then we oh. got the, the split flag. And I'm a Celtics fan. I still went for it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Little tidbit about us. Um, we're going to try to use as much funky flags as possible. So you could just kind of pick out our, uh, our caps when they're on the wall. You know where they are. So we got the split flag for, for everyone there. Yeah. Next up. It was a little bit of disappointment in terms of the delivery schedule. We wanted it to be ready for Christmas. Um, however, uh, the world had different plans, but you guys will be set up for next Christmas. Well, well, hold on. I believe that there's a lot of people out there that still have their Christmas lights up. <laughs> yeah. I so, it. <laughs> so you're going to test that, right? So this may arrive just in time for some of you slackers to take down your Christmas lights. Just exactly. to be clear, it's not me. My lights are down. <laughs> Put away. Your lights are down. Yeah, but wouldn't this be the perfect hat to wear to take down your Christmas lights? It would be, mm -hmm. especially if you know you had a problem on the ladder. <laughs> this came out. This came out nice. Yeah, this was. I think it feels like it was been in, in the works for two years because we originally wanted to do it last year, but we didn't have enough time. And then this year, stuff happened. But um, it's a fun little uh, project. You know, we. We've uh, loved cl collaborating with uh, Big Dave and Moonwalker Industries. So the Santa Walker, all the lights uh, glow in the dark. The pin glows in the dark. The flag glows in the dark. And then the lights on the back for the Big Dave glow in the dark. So red under, you know, black with red under. Can't go wrong. Maybe you might see a green version or maybe a red version. But um, yeah, and then moving forward. Gotta love a black Christmas hat. Exactly, exactly. Moving forward, um, this was a three pack, but only the Reaper shows up, so go figure. Um, the Love Your Moonwalkers. So this is an ode to uh, the Houston Oilers. So we got a uh, powder blue all around, um, green under, red visor, red button. Got a little Big Dave Crescent Moon uh, pin for you. And then uh, the Reaper's X Big Dave at the back. So, nice. you know, Tony and Big Dave have been collaborating for a while. We toned out the flag for this one. Um, this is a set of three. 
Moonwalker 1 and 2 haven't arrived yet. So, you know, we're shipping these as they go, as they come in. Red outline on that light blue is really nice. Yeah. I don't remember if this glows in the dark. I think it may. Mm -hmm. I think it may. Find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, this one, um, I mean, if you think, you know, missing Christmas was bad, this one was supposed to be here for Halloween. So that shows you kind of how, how far behind the production is on some of these bad boys. But uh, Zombie Boy, mm. he's, got, um, he's got some brains in his uh, little pail there. He's busting out of the, out of the I guess, the, the ground. Great, you know, got a hidden, yeah. There's a little Easter egg. There's a little hidden TC uh, there in the teeth for you. Um, fun little hat. Wish we could have got it out there for you guys uh, before Halloween. We do appreciate your guys' patience, but um, yeah, there's also yeah. a pinky zombie. So you know, shout out to the the guys that love pinkies out there. Yeah, it's badass. I like this hat. All right, and then now the rest I don't have the rest, so I gotta take a look here. I yeah. Gotta... Well, you got the one on your head, so. Oh yeah. So these things um, are outstanding. Yeah. So there was a little snafu, um, uh, clerical -ish issue with New Era. So these were severely delayed. Um, so as a, as a makeup, we, we threw in uh, one of two of the pins. So. Oh, you didn't throw that in for me. Yeah, because you already have them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we worked with. Uh, um latoya and lee rocky on this project this is the fourth colorway so this is just a simple black hat with the red under um this might be one of the cleaner ones out of all four i don't I, it's hard to choose favorites but this is one of the favorite projects i like them i like them all yeah but i do like the um the ones with the uh actual colors of the flag yeah yeah um fun project i don't know if we have that many left i think we only have one or two really wow yeah yeah they they went they went yeah um this project has been uh on our radar almost a year <laughs> uh our good friend nestor uh, brought us the uh the artwork um and then we added some flavors on the side um but this is the supper time uh yeah. so this crazy jambon crazy ham there um if you look closely i don't know if you can see it but yeah i can hidden, see it yeah it's hidden tc in the fat of the ham yeah on the back says supper time uh this was originally slated to be a red bottom but because of the pink bottom craze um we uh we listened to the people well, and wanted it well to be pink fun. pink matches too right when it yeah comes to ham, i mean pink he's pink yeah so it, it became a pink bottom and then it severely delayed the production of it um <laughs> but we got it so you know happy to whoever um, got that one. All right, moving forward. Um, if you know anything about us, we're huge sports fans. So we love that um, that red leg, that Mr. Mr. Red Leg logo. Mm -hmm. We did a little flip on it. Um, we turned him into a running geisha. So the first one comes in on a black hat, That's pink, cool. pink accents. We got the, the TC at the back with the Securas. Um, but what really sets this this bad boy off is we got a whole bouquet of flowers there for you. So that is really nice. Yeah. Once we saw that in the catalog, we knew we had to use it. Uh, we're starting to see other stores get everybody. Really everybody's starting to use it now. Yeah. But they're yeah. late, a little later. Yeah. I just wish we we, we would have pushed it out further or faster. But you know, it is what it is. And then the second version, a little bit more toned down. If you didn't want to go for the crazy florals. Um, we got a green and a pink. So we got the green eggs and spam colorway. Yeah, it's nice. out flag. You know, we got a bunch of these ones left on our website. So of that colorway? Yeah, of the green. Wow. Yeah. Green is not a, a really like sexy color to mock up. So hopefully when people see it in hand, um, they're gonna jump on it. I'll take some pictures of it when they come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the last one. Well, the last two, there's two colors. Oh, the, I love uh, this one. Is the evolution of the cap collector. So we took you on a little uh, evolutionary journey, mm -hmm. you know, from from like ape to like Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Has all the way, all the way to the <laughs> hat wear guy. Right? Shout out to Buffalo. 
Um, this one comes with uh, tribal under, so we got nice. really funky with it. And then we we're always toying with like uh, like those definitions, um, way to pronounce stuff and whatever. But we thought it'd be cool to give you a definition of the capologist. No, that's so, cool. This was one of the first things we ever mocked up on a hat. Um, if you like scroll back down to like the first couple pages or the first couple posts on our Instagram, you'll see. Um, and yeah, that one means a lot to us. Um, so it was great that we uh, got on a hat. And then to round it off, um, we did the same hat in azure blue. Mm. Originally, we asked for ivory bottom, but they told us we couldn't do it. So um, azure really? blue. I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know what happened. So same hat, azure blue. Crazy. That embroidered nice. Crazy thick. Can you spell Azora blue? A Z U R E. So Azure. Azure blue? Azure blue? I don't know. Azure? I'm not that educated. But you're trying to, you, I think you just learned to speak <laughs> in French. There I you think go. you could also call it Pacific blue, right? I Maybe. think so. It's just a different color blue. We wanted to switch it up. It's um, Azure, though. I mean, let's make Azure. It All right. <laughs> there you go. But we just went with simple gray. Once yeah. they dubbed the. Once they dug the uh, ivory. You might be better off that way anyway. Really? The ivory was really close to white. So yeah, no, that would be... it get dirty. Yeah. Bless but you. um I'll take it. But this one w- was a hard one to get like approved properly. I think the first time they just came back with just completely flat and they were like, no, 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 we want it raised here, here, and here. So Tony gave him the layers and, and they killed it. Yeah, that looks great, man. So Tony, what which of these hats was your favorite to work on? Um, I'm probably going to say the, the geisha. Yeah. Just because it was, uh, I, I love flipping that, that, that runner guy. Yeah. The red yeah. leg. Guy. Yeah. I mean, he just, he's in the perfect pose, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Put anything in his hand, a bat, a, a umbrella, whatever. It's almost, it's getting to the point where it's as iconic as the swinging fryer. I think it's more iconic, to be honest with you. Think so? It's been around longer. I mean, you know how long the Cincinnati Reds have been around? That's what I'm saying. Like that's crazy. To what? I well, this the the Reds they have been around the, for 150 years. Right. Yeah, they just like had the 150 around. I don't know. 1908. I'm guessing. I that's could crazy. Wrong. Well, I don't know, but it's been a long time. That's for sure. A long time. Yeah. So, I mean, I love that hat. I I love them all, to be honest with you. That supper time was fun because I got to. Nestor brought the artwork, but I got to put my, you know, a little bit of a touch on it, you know, yeah. my, my special touch, like differing line weights and stuff. Yeah. I think that makes a big difference yeah. in how it embroiders out. So I got to do that. That was, that was, I like doing stuff like that, you know, varying yeah. line weights. So that was a fun one, but you know, the Australia one, the koala. Oh man. This is probably one of my favorite custom customs of all time. Yeah. Mine too. It's probably one of my favorite I've ever worked on. Definitely. I- uh, Leon, show it again, man. But get up close to the the front logo and the side patch, because I don't. I think people underestimate this hat. This thing is crazy, man, yeah. and it's beautiful. I think, I think when Tony first showed me, like what became the final artwork for this, I'm like, no changes. You're good. <laughs> you don't need to show me no more. You don't need to adjust. Thing is crazy. And then the 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 uh, depth to the research that was done to make sure that it was the right way to represent the country and yeah, it's got all the flag yeah. colors in there. Incredible. The, heart. Uh, the two animals represent the coat of arms. All and four then, colorways were fantastic. Yeah, and then we had a lot of fun making the pins too. Yeah. This was one of our first pins, I think. We we're still kind of learning on how to make them, and you know, yeah, it's a it's been a fun year. Oh, and the back's really cool too. Oh yeah, There's TC with the the stars. I'm telling you, this is probably one of my favorite customs of all time. Not probably, it is. There's got probably my, you know, I'd say there's probably three custom hats that I kind of have up there with this one. It's That's the not, thing with, with customs, right? Fun hat too. I mean, it, it's it just look the logo's fun. The the hat's clean. You you can't beat that hat to be honest with you. And it almost looks like it could be an alternate logo for like the national bas- baseball team. The, the the national base the Australian national baseball team, it does. Aussie, hit me up. Let's make a deal. Doesn't it like it like if they were if they said hey let's let's do cool alternates for all the world baseball um teams. Oh, instead of their cool 
initials that they're running now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like do one okay. alternate, right? That this would this would fit in perfectly. But well, it's a great hat. Going for. I was trying to just represent the whole country. Yeah, you guys, you guys really did a fantastic job. These are these are these are a bunch of great offerings, and it was well worth the wait. And I'm sure um, as you start to hit people's homes, they're going to be really excited. And and you know what? I mean, the wait was probably terrible as as it was happening, but it's all worth it when the product comes in and looks great. Yeah. Well, especially when you get them all at once too. Who, <laughs> who doesn't like open a box of five hats? I know. Well, waiting. I'm opening. I'm going to be opening a box of. Seven. 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 Oh, yeah. a big spender. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, but Thank well, you. yeah, well, this was fun, guys. Um so before we go, like, why don't you guys tell us what's next? Well, first of all, I want to let everybody know the wait is almost over. Astronauts are shipping this weekend. Ooh. So I know a lot of people have been inquiring about that. You know, same thing as everything else. It's been hard to get some shit together <laughs> these yeah. times. But uh, yeah. I got it all together. They'll be shipping this weekend to most of you. So nice. leave Leon alone, would you? <laughs> yeah. That's Leon. all right. That's all right. Leon's the um, PR guy. We got a couple of hats on pre-order right now. So we yeah, got, we got, Why don't you yeah, share? We got, we got the one for uh, our, our good friend, Brian Kajiyama, uh, Zeus, the Zeus Custom. That goes mm -hmm. to benefit um, – the Hawaiian assistance dogs, uh, yeah. assistance dogs of Hawaii. Yes. Um, and then we also dropped the, uh, I'm going to butcher the name. I'm going to let Tony talk about the, uh, the other one. He gave me shit yesterday because I spelled stuff wrong in Spanish. So. <laughs> <laughs> Echo in Mexico. There you go. Free Mexico hat. It's got yeah. a, oh yes. Yeah. The made in the, the quintessential made in Mexico Eagle. And inside of it is the, uh, a little bit of the, calendar yeah i saw that hat. that's a fantastic hat as well i think um just so you know tony uh leon tends to um mess things up in english too so <laughs> i'm telling you french is his first language i'm guessing <laughs> he kept telling me to change the description i'm like what's wrong with it tony and he had to like really point it out so whatever but uh like, yeah. slow down and follow me here leon yeah, 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 exactly. Well, listen, this was this was this was a fun time, guys. So, got some great stuff landing. Um, well worth the wait. Got some stuff coming. Um, you guys are doing great stuff, man. I think um, you know, it's a crowded space right now, but you guys continue to differentiate yourselves with um, I think uh, not only cool designs, cool logos, cool presentations, but also I think what's uh, what's really the differentiator is some of the stuff you guys do to kind of help certain causes. Um, you know, and I think there's a great balance. You can't do that with every hat you do, but you certainly do a great job of um, finding the right opportunities to support these causes. So um, I think overall, just really great stuff. Really Thank great you. stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So Leon, I know this was a show um, really focused on you and Tony and the capologist, but I'm still going to ask you to take us away. <laughs> All right. No problem. Um, make sure you guys uh, like, rate, review, subscribe. Make sure you guys um, also follow the Capologists and uh, and what we're doing. Um, we'd love to get more product out there for you guys. Um, but yeah, until next time, stay fitted. We'll catch you soon. See you, everybody. See ya.